ادعو ربکم تضرعا و خفیا پرے ٹو یور لارڈ کیپ آن پرینگ ٹو ہم کالنگ اپان ہم تضرعا و خفیا ود ہیومیلٹی اینڈ ان سیکریٹ ڈونٹ کال ہم ود لاؤڈ وائسز ہی کین ہیئر وٹ ایور یو سی ٹو ہم ان یور ہارٹ سو وائی ٹو کال ہم ود لاؤڈ وائس ڈونٹ نیڈ دی بیسٹ پریئر از وچ یو آر پرینگ ان یور loneliness when you are alone not showing off to anybody else talking to allah alone and you need not shout tadarrum wa khufiya only what is needed is that you should be you should be humble and number two secretly ask him. but another direct dimension will be again you know mentioned this da, this dua has another dimension also innahu la yuhibbul mu'tadin verily he doesn't like those who transgress the limits ولا تفسدوا في الارض بعد اصلاحها and don't produce mischief in the in the earth after it has been set right wad'uhu khawfan wa tama'a this is the second dimension of dua and you must call to him pro to him with khauf with fear and with tama and hope also bain al khauf wa raja so praying to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number one humbly with humility number two secretly number 3 having hope that allah will respond positively and accept my 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 uh, prayer and also fearing maybe due to my act due to my actions maybe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rejects my prayer so these are the four dimensions of dua and dua about dua the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said ad dua mukhul ibada that is the essence of worship And in another saying he says, Ad-du'a huwa libada. Actually prayer is the worship. Inna rahmat Allahi qaribu bin al-muhsirin. Verily, the mercy of Allah is very near to those who do good deeds or who have reached the level of ihsan. Both translations you must keep in mind. They have risen from the level of Islam and Iman to that of ihsan. Wa huwa alladhi yusri riyaha bushram bayna yadai rahmatihi. And it is he who sends winds as glad tidings, heralding his mercy. The rain is coming. Hatta ida akhlat sahaban se kalan. Until then, when they have carried a heavily laden cloud, sukna ho le le baladin mayyatin. We drive it towards the land, towards the land which was dry, dry and which was lying dead. There is no greenery. The land is barren. No greenery. No signs of life. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings the clouds there, and then you know it is raining there. Hatta iza aqallat sahaban se kalan sukna hu le badan il mayyatin fa anzalna bihi bihi il ma. And then we send down the water from it. Fa akhrajna bihi min kulli samarat. And with this water, we bring out from this earth all the fruits, all types of fruits. Kazalika nukhrijul mawta. in the same way we shall bring out from this earth the dead because the seeds were also there but they were lying dormant they were dead water came and now those dead seeds they become alive they sprouted out of each seed two leaves have up appeared and this led to this greenery in this same way you will be lying dead buried in this clay as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends rain and he revives the the dead earth he will revive you kazalika nukhrijul mauta la'allakum tadhakkarun so that we are telling to you all this so that you may be reminded wal baladu tayyib yakhruju nabatahu the good land it gives its vegetation in the best of the ways based on rabbi by the command of its lord وَالَّذِي خَبُسَا And which is bad. The, the, the earth doesn't have any fertility. لَا يَخْرُجُ إِلَّا نَكِدَا It doesn't bring out but very little. كَذَلِكَ نُسَرِفُ الْآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يَشْكُرُونَ In this way we explain our ayat, our revelation for those people who are grateful. What does it mean? Rain is the same but land is not good. It won't produce anything. Rain is the same, land is good, it's producing a lot. In the same way, 
if the nature of a person has perverted quran will not be able to bring out any good from him if the nature of this person is correct healthy then quran will you know enter into it and bring out bring forth the good which is inherent its soul the same way as lands bad and good in the same way the natures of people either they are correct and healthy or they are perverted laqad arsalna nuhan ila qaumihi we had sent nuh to his nation faqala ya qaum abdullah and he said to them o oh my people worship allah now this o budu has four directions four dimensions at least i don't want to repeat all these rather i want to keep this o budu as it is because repeating all the four words you know that will consume much time this is going to be repeated now time and again number one worship modes of worship to show your reverence to someone whom you think to be god this is one number two obedience you have to obey that's the part and parcel of ibadah number three love you have to love allah and you must you know whomsoever you have accepted as god falsely or correctly you must love him and number four serve him all these four words joined together go to make the sense of ibadah So he said, "Ya qawm e budullah, baalakum in Allahim gairu." You have no God except Him. You have to worship Him. You have to love Him. You have to obey Him. You have to serve Him. In the akhaf waalekum azab yawm e nazim, I fear on you that if you don't mend your ways, the punishment of a mighty day will take you, will overcome on you. Qal al malaw min qawmihi. The chiefs of his of of his nation said to him. In the Iraq of the Lali Mubin, we see you, we find you in a manifest error. You have been mistaken somehow. Kala ya komile sabi zaralatu. He replied, "No, my people, I am not in error. Wala kini rasulum mi Rabbil Alamin. On the other hand, I am the messenger from the Lord of all the worlds." I am conveying to you the messages of my Lord. I am most sincere to you. I am advising you sincerely. You don't know what I know from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. That knowledge has not come to you. Now, Ajib, you are wondering that a reminder has come to you. Allah Rajuli Minkum. That a reminder has come to you. Allah Rajuli Minkum. to a man from your among yourselves a man of your nation to him a reminder has come to allah subhanahu wa taala and you are wondering it le yunzirakum and this reminder has come what 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 for so that he may warn you wale taqtaqu so that you can have taqwa you may have taqwa you may be able to save yourselves wala lakum turhamun and so that mercy should be shown to you fakazabu but they rejected him belied him refuted him fan jayna hu allazina ma'ahu fil fulk so we saved and delivered him and those who were with him in the ark in the big boat and ship that he made under the command of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this we will find in surah al surah hud inshallah wa aghraqna allazina kazabu bi ayatin and we drowned all of them who had belied our revelations in the kanu qaumun amin surely they were they were the blind people waila adin khahu huda now you know this nation was the first nation hazrat nuh alaihi salam was the first messenger of allah please note it before him we have on the record three prophets hazrat adam alaihi salatu wassalam was a prophet not a messenger hazrat idris alaihi salatu wassalam he was a prophet not a messenger hazrat shees alai salam he was a prophet not a messenger the first messenger of allah is nuh alai salatu wassalam then you know the people who were saved with nuh three of his sons so now the nations of the world are the progeny of three sons of nuh alai salatu wassalam sam ham and yafis 
and quran only discusses the history of the semitic nations who are the progeny of sam alayhi salatu wasalam who was one of the sons of nuh the other son yafis his progeny migrated to the north because the area which is you know today as kurdistan this is the place where the nation of nuh alayhi salatu wasalam was living and perhaps the humanity was till that time restricted to this area only and here came the flood and the you know the ark rested with judi and it is somewhere where armenia and turkey and russia they go to meet you know that's the place where this jabal judi is and some you know pilots have seen a structure on the top of that mountain which resembles a an ark and a boat but it has not you know been you know, discovered up till now maybe because quran says that we have preserved it as a sign so that sign will come to light one day but from that you know that place now three sons of nuh alayhi salatu wasalam their progeny spread one went downwards towards the south and these are the semitic nations iraq syria they were inhabited and then the arabian peninsula this when these are the semitics and the yafis sons of yafis they migrated across the mountain range of the central asia and then to the left to the right the european nations the russians especially and the chinese and mongols they are all progeny of hazrat yafis alayhi salatu wasalam and you know the middle ham they went to west and to east to east towards india indian subcontinent and to west towards egypt etc and sudan so they are the progeny of hazrat ham alayhi salatu wasalam quran gives us the history mainly of the semitic nations among the semitic nations after the people of nuh arose this people of ad a very strong nation so it, for, to them came hazrat hud while ad in akhah huda and to had to the people to the nation of ad we sent their brother and his name was hud alayhi salatu wasalam qala ya qaum ibudullah ma lakum min ilah ghayru he said the same thing oh my nation make ibadah towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be abd to, to him and you have no lord no god except him afala tattaqun so don't you have taqwa don't you want to save yourselves qala al malaa alladhina kafaroo min qaumihi inna lanraaka fi safahatin so the people you know from his nation who were the chiefs you know they said to him we we find you in foliness you seem to be to have become a fool وَإِنَّا لَنَظُلُّكَ مِنَ الْكَاذِبِينَ And we think that you are lying. You are telling us a lie. قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ لَا سَبِي صَفَاتٍ And he said, No, O oh my nation, there is no folly with me. وَلَكِنِي رَسُولُ مِنْ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ On the other hand, I am a messenger from the Lord of all the worlds. أُبَلِّغُكُمْ رِسَالَاتِ رَبِّي I am conveying to you the messages of my Lord. وَعَنَا لَكُمْ نَاسِعُونَ مِينَ And I am for you a trustworthy advisor. اب عجیب تو انجاکم ذکر من ربکم ار یو ونڈرنگ اوور دس دیٹ اے ذکر اے اے ریمائنڈنگ ہیز کم ٹو یو فرام یور لارڈ علی رجل منکم تھرو اے پرسن آن اے پرسن فرام امنگس یو لے یونذرکم سو دیٹ ہی می وارن یو بس کرو اس جعلکم خلفاء من بعد قوم نو جسٹ ریممبر ریکال اللہ تعالی میڈ یو دی سکسیسرز افٹر دی نیشن اف نو علیہ الصلات والسلام and the place of this this nation was in the southern part of arabian peninsula it's the worst type of desert today it was a very fertile fertile land and now here a planet you know which are encircling our earth you know these satellites they have discovered that city of shaddad shaddad was the name of the king of ad and that city you know that has been discovered it is lying buried in the desert deep and that is a very bad desert now but there was a very big civilization here very strong nation the southern part of the arabian peninsula min ba'd qawm nuh wa zadakum fil khalq basta and he increased you very much in your statures and your body was kuru ala allah and you must remember the bounties of allah that have been upon you la lakum tuflihun so that you become successful qalu ajaitana li na'bud allah wahdahu they said to him have you come to us that we should worship only allah alone what does it mean they worshiped allah also and other gods also this is shirk shirk doesn't mean 
denying the existence of Allah. Shirk means you believe in a, in a big Allah, the great Allah, the supreme Allah, and along with their supreme Allah, small aleha, small gods, small devis and devtas. This is shirk. Now what was Hud saying? Don't worship anyone else except Allah. And this is what they are saying. Ajaytana le nabud Allah bahadahu. You have come to us that we should give up all the worships of the other deities and other lords and other gods and goddesses and worship Allah alone. And we leave those whom our forefathers have been worshipping. So okay, bring what you are threatening us with. You say that azab will come, punishment will come, bring that, that punishment. In kuntamina if you are really true. Hazrat Ehud said to him, Indeed, curse and wrath from your Lord has already fallen upon you. Wa ghazab, his wrath has fallen upon you. Atujadilunani fi asma in sammaytumuhantu wa baukum. You are disputing with me and arguing against me about the mere names that were invented by you or your forefathers. Who are these gods and goddesses? Where has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You believe in one Allah? Now give me the argument where Allah has told that I have these, you know, assistants also and these gods and goddesses also. Allah has told us. He created Malaika. Malaika are managing this world. They are the bureaucracy. They are the civil service of this, this universal government, divine government. But we don't worship them. Worship is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Although they are very exalted. They were created out of, out of light. They are very near to their Lord. But we can't worship them. We, we worship only Allah. So he said, You have invented some names, you and your forefathers. Allah has not sent down any, any authority for them, any certificate for them. So wait. I'm also waiting with you. The same thing happened. We saved him and those who were with them, with him, who had believed in him. By mercy from us. And we cut the roots of that nation who had belied and refuted and rejected the revelations of Allah, our ayat. And they were not to believe.